Hi everyone and welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is your host Carmina and today we will be investigating, analyzing the compatibility between two famous people that have been friends for over 30 years. These two people are RuPaul Charles and Michel Visage. They have known each other since meeting in 1988 in the club scene, but they only started working together eight years later in 1996. And uh, they've collaborated on talk shows together and in the recent 10 years, they've been judging RuPaul's Drag Race together. So I also have a cup of hot tea for us today, astrological and card tea not any of that dirty gossip because I don't think like there's like bad things to say about their relationship as we will see they have a lot of things in common and most importantly they have a lot of things a lot of places where they complete each other so I'm just gonna start by uh, sharing their astrological charges to show you the signs that are very compatible and then we are going to do uh, a side-by-side -side look at their birth card and birth spread. Okay, so here we see the, the, these two circles. The outer circle is RuPaul's chart, RuPaul's planet, and the inner circle is Michelle Visage chart and planet. You know that RuPaul called Michelle my wife from another life, and you know they've been quite inseparable. Uh, especially since they restarted working together and they have this thing in common where they are both very private people. They are very, as, as much as they are, you know, glamorous and showy with their public persona, with their, their outfits, their private life is very much out of the public eye. So right off the bat, we see they both have a lot going on in Scorpio. RuPaul has the Sun, the Moon, and Mercury in Scorpio. So he was born on a new moon. That's what we can see when the Sun and Moon are in the same sign. So his uh, path in life is very driven by this Scorpio sign of very deep psychological investigation and uh, renewal. The, the, his moon is in Scorpio, so also his taste, not really taste as much as his needs are very intense. He's a very intense person and his Mercury is also in Scorpio. And you see Mercury is the way you manage things, the way you manage your life and also how you communicate with other people. And this, um, you know, pre prevalence of the sign of Scorpio is very vivid also in his show where he likes to hits the nail on the head. He always finds a way to pinpoint that one weakness, that one hurtful thing in the person's past that will make them vulnerable because Scorpio is all about revealing vulnerabilities and working through them. And Michelle Visage has her ascendant. This LG means Lagna, which means ascendant. Her ascendant sign is in Scorpio. And her ascendant is only like a couple of degrees away it's like less than three degrees away from his son from an exact conjunction to his son so you see that kind of because uh, rupaul has the sun in scorpio and uh, michelle has the ascendant and the ascendant is one's path kind of his son his leadership gives her also inspiration and lightens her path it's very nice to have this because they, they have this unspoken communication, this unspoken understanding. And also for Michelle, it's so obvious that she's a Scorpio Ascendant because she's this like short person because usually Scorpio Ascendant is short unless it's influenced by Saturn. So it's this short person with a very penetrating gaze and she's also very cut and dry is she's like to the point she gives you like the truth 
in her critiques and she's very you know because scorpio is ruled by mars the planet connected to uh, cutting things to sharp objects to burning things she's like to the point she's giving it to you straight and that's something they they both have and um, another thing they have in common, like another sign that is very prevalent in their charts is the sign of Virgo. You see here that RuPaul has the North Node in Virgo. So in this life, he needs to develop this uh, earthy quality of uh, intelligently solving his problems on doing his day-to-day uh, -day work routines on uh, taking care of his physical body, that's Virgo. And uh, also just paying your taxes, paying your dues to society, that's a very Virgo thing. It's another sign, it's concrete, materialistic, not materialistic, it's focused on material existence, especially your own body and taking care of your body. So he's developing that and Michelle, who was also born during a new moon, we see here that she has the sun and the moon in Virgo. She has sun, moon, and Jupiter here in Virgo. So she inspires him. She uh, helps him. She guides him in this uh, taking care of material, earthy responsibility. So it's very interesting how that happens. Uh, between these two, I guess, you know, they that's why they have such a long-lasting relationship. Uh, okay, these are the main connections in their charts, this uh, Virgo-Scorpio thing. So, uh, the Scorpio, the deep investigation of the soul and the telepathic kind of communication that water signs have. And the, um, the Virgo, the practical, working, ethic, day-to-day -day thing. So I guess it's pretty solid in that regard. Now we're going to be looking at their Cards of Truth. Cards of Truth is a card reading system that combines astrology and um, an ancient method of laying out cards. And uh, from that method, every person, depending on which day of the year they were born, after sunrise, they are assigned a specific birth card. If they are born before sunrise, then they are assigned the card from the day before. So it's interesting to see how the cards connect these two people together. So here I'm just going to tell you, yes, the natal spread is called the Queen Quadration and that's very fitting to two queens like RuPaul and Michelle Visage. And uh, RuPaul is a Three of Clubs birth card and Michelle Visage is a Four of Clubs birth card. So right off the bat, we see that these two are consecutive cards and consecutive cards are quite compatible. They are even the same suit, which makes them even more familiar with each other's way of existing, okay? Because the birth card is something that you're born with and it's something that you have there in it. It's like they were born with an in it. For RuPaul, it's the three of clubs. So it's like an in a desire to expand with their intellectual capacity, with their creativity, with their inspiration. And for Michelle, it's the Four of Clubs where she likes some serenity. So RuPaul is more like um, individualistic because the three is a more masculine kind of energy. It's a more like pushing forward while Michelle is more like stabilizing this energy. This is the three of clubs is like going to war for your ideas. And the four of clubs is kind of like coming back home and retreating and having some peace with your ideas, with your inspiration after the war is over. So this is great right off the bat. They, they can complement each other that way. And then we see here, we look at the, the ecliptic card, which is also very important in compatibility. We see that RuPaul is on the path of becoming um, a person that's very high level with whatever it is they're doing professionally, with whatever it is that they're inspired 
and uh, they come they can come across as cold because that's the you know it's a black king so they can come across as more emotionally cold and uh, michelle has the ecliptic of the ace of diamonds which is next after the king of clubs in the natural card sequence so that's also compatible um, michelle is on the path of starting new and concrete things uh, starting new and concrete you know uh, plans or having new and concrete practical skills i wonder if michelle is into real estate or something because the four of clubs is also being very inspired with your home like really desiring to have a super inspiring home and the ace of diamonds is uh, you know it's a new plot of land it's an unexplored uncharted territory which is which can become something very practical so that's why I'm wondering if she's into real estate, maybe. And then it's also interesting that Michelle's Pluto card is RuPaul's birth card. So whenever these two are together, she kind of gets her ego a little shattered, you know? She's a div diva, but when she's next to him, he's the, the bigger diva. They're both very loyal to each other. That Scorpio energy, very devotional to each other. But I'm just saying, like, his energy is also a bit ego-shattering for her. But that's good because when you work on that three of clubs, then she can be a better version of herself. She can be more at peace with her inspiration, with the four of clubs birth card that she has. And then if we look at the cards, we're not going to spend like 10 hours looking at them, just, uh, you know, just looking through them. We see there's a lot of consecutive cards energy here. We see that uh, one of them has the seven of spades as the North Node card. So what they are developing in this life. So RuPaul is developing getting rid of limitations about himself and about his body while Michelle is an eight of spades uh, north node so this is like uh, working on being more contemplative on being more self-validating and then we also see uh, the seven and the eight on the mars card they both have very busy mars cards they have a lot of things in scorpio because it's ruled by mars so for Michelle, the Eight of Clubs here in Mars card is like she can only become a role mother, which is the Eight of Clubs, a very important card, after she becomes self-sufficient with her inspiration. She can become a teacher for other people by her own example. But because Saturn and the North Node are here, I guess that became quite delayed. Her North Node is very connected to the number eight and that's very synergistic with the North Node's energy. It's all about self-validation and spending time with the self and just uh, doing whatever it is that you need to do without the um, always being uh, approved by the others. So that kind of came a bit later for Michelle because Saturn and the North Node always delay that. And then we see the Mercury card also. Great. The Mercury card is great. They are uh, five of diamonds and six of diamonds. So communication is, it, it flows very naturally between them and it's very concrete because it's a diamond, like it's concrete things. And uh, for Michelle, she's a little, you know, a little uh, psychic with her communication. That six of diamonds shows like a very, strong way of interpreting you know the the things around you it's a, a very fulfilling communication card it also has pluto here for both of them so whenever they arrange things in their lives and they communicate they also get some painful lessons some painful ego lessons through their communication so uh, you can't avoid that. Like you can't say stop doing that because it's something that helps them become, you know, better people. So it's always going to be like that for both of them. So they understand also each other on that level. We also see here, let's see what else. 
uh, we see the queen of spades here and we see the four of spades here. For Michelle, it's more difficult here, the four of spades, because uh, we don't like to see a four on the five position. So this is kind of her um, not really being at peace with her physical body, with her physical health. It's like that peace, it's kind of being avoided. And also with, with her home life, because it's the fourth cusp and also with the mother. And I'm also wondering if Michelle had some, you know, separation from the father because Scorpio ascendant usually, you know, has some strained relationship with the father. And also the mother for her is Saturn. So also, you know, their relationship has been a bit burdening. Maybe she felt her mother as being very critical towards her. Let's see what else. So this four of spades is an integral part of the queen of spades energy here. So they link up here as well. It's a consecutive thing. Uh, this is like four, five, and six, and Michelle has four. So together they can develop their vision of life, but it has to do with a lot of hard work for her, like the man in her life, her children, like all Jupiterian things and like projecting her vision of future always takes a hard work and a little bit is um you know it's a bit averted by her not really feeling at peace with her body and here we have the south node on this queen of spades so yeah rupaul in the past life he was also a queen but the queen of spades so a tough self-reliant person uh he has yeah uh, also the the two of clubs connected to his past life so uh, connecting to education educating people about things but right now with the north node here and here he needs to improve his financial situation always and improve his home life and uh, also you know let go of things about his body that are not working uh, yeah for RuPaul, it's a bit tense here with the Mercury because it's a five on a four. So it's like, okay, um, yeah, sometimes, although with Michelle, he's very compatible. Innately, it's also a bit difficult for him to learn, maybe in his youth, like what is practical to say and what's not. So he worked a lot on improving what his communication was. Uh, then we have a 9 and a 10, another consecutive pair here on the Saturn card. So the way they manage uh, like long lasting crisis situation for RuPaul, he should like surrender to what is. And this is like also a lot of expense. So being like in service to a lot of expense. Um, I think his siblings are a great source of expense for him because for him siblings are Saturn. So his siblings you know, were also maybe a heavy influence for him. Maybe they were a bit of a burden many of the times. And then Venus is also here in the Nine of Diamonds. So this Nine of Diamonds is also a very psychic card. It has Venus here, the psychic planet. It has Jupiter, but it also has Saturn with kind of delays. So RuPaul also has this uh, gift of you know being a little psychic not a little like I mean, he's very intuitive but he had to you know surrender to what life is really and kind of realize that everyone is worth something even though he doesn't like that or even though he can't relate to that he, he always can see the worth in people and he is like a channel for conveying that worth so I think that's that's very nice for a TV host, for an entertainer that interacts with so many people. We also see here a four and a five Neptune cards and Neptune cards is how you bond to the world on a deeper level. So this, these are quite devotional cards. I think deep down they are quite spiritual not in the traditional way maybe but they are they are like they they have a devotion side to them also because of the scorpio that's a water sign and for rupaul the the ego bashing comes 
with the four and five of diamonds. So the four of diamonds, like a house, that's a good deal, like being secure financially. So he's like really putting a lot of expectations into being financially secure and improving his finances. But then he's like, oh, is that what I really want? Was it really worth it? You know, so that's one of the things for them. Yeah, there can be a rather million things that can be said about their charts, but I'm just going to leave it at that for today. I love these two people and they're very entertaining. They're role models for a lot of people. They're very influential. So I wish them the best of luck. So I'll see you guys soon with more card videos, with more astrology videos. Check out my website. That's going to be linked below because I'm going to change the title soon. Check out my card classes and my Q&As, giveaways, everything. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you soon. Bye.